Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this video we need to start to look at the main content boxes. So if we look at the design um, we've got this lighter shade box on the outside and the white content box in the middle. If we look closely on the content box on the outside if you look at the very top there's a very thin one pixel border around the outside edge. So if I just zoom into that so as you can see, this is the outside box, and there's this very fine one pixel line. So we need to create this one pixel line as well as this outside border. So if I just zoom out. So we need to jump over to Visual Web Developer and actually start creating some additional divs to create this structure. Okay, so now that we're in Visual Web Developer, we need to have a look at the actual code for the master page dot master. So if we look down here, in the last episode, we created a div called main content. So if I just preview that in the design, it's actually this, bo this box here, which is going to hold all of our main content. But what we need to do, we need to change the name from main content to main content border. Because so we're going to use this box to create that very fine one pixel line around the outside edge. So if we just go to the source, and then just here where it says main content, we're going to change that to main content border. And just save that with control S. So if we just double click on main content border and copy the text, go back over to our style sheet and come towards the bottom. And we're going to create the following. So main content border. And we're going to say border. So it's going to be a one pixel border, it's going to be a solid line and it's going to be the following colour, so it's going to be 626262 six, two, six, two. and then we're going to close that off. So the height of the box, just so we can see it taking shape, we're going to change it to auto later on. So we're going to say just say 600 pixels for now. So if we now just jump back to the master page and go to design view. You can now see we've got a larger box, but we can't see that border. So if we just hit the green arrow for start debugging. So as you can see here, we've now got the large box and we have this very fine one pixel line around the whole edge. So we've got the first bit sorted out. So if we just jump back over to Photoshop. So if we just zoom in up here, so if we just use the control plus. So now that we've created this one pixel line around the outside box, we need to create this inner lighter shade inside of that box. Now I've been sat here for about an hour trying to try in many different ways to get this to look right with the least amount of code. Um, so the way we're going to do it is the following. So if I just zoom out, we're going to have to create ourselves an additional image uh, to create this effect. So if we go to File, New, and the width needs to be 850 pixels and the height can be anything as long as it's higher than say 100 and then click on OK. So we have a brand new white canvas and then we're going to double click on this padlock to unlock the background layer. Now once we've done that we need to go to an option down here that says fill. Now this is going to make the background transparent so if we click on the word fill you get these little arrows appearing. If you drag to the left you can see the the white is now starting to go transparent uh, so we want to come down to 10 percent also you can just type in here 10 it's a lot easier uh, so that's now 10 percent transparent so there is a slight bit of white in there but only 10 percent so if we click on the crop tool here so if you just click that and then if we're going to select a portion say about that much it doesn't have to be exact as long as you've got a size similar to mine and if you double click that has now selected that we now have the slice we need so we're going to do file save for the web and devices make sure png is selected and click on save and then we're going to save it into the images folder and we're going to call it main bg oh, if i could spell main so main bg and then click save so we've now got the image ready, we just need to jump over to Visual Web Developer and actually add it into the main content border div. So looking at this, it's, this is what we need to add the image to, so if we just go to the master page. So we've told this main content border div to have the one pixel line around the outside and we're now going to tell it on the inside to use the image we just created. So if we go back to the style sheet, so here we're going to say background image 
URL, create two brackets, and then close it off, and then inside the brackets, do dot dot forward slash to go back a folder, into the images folder, and then select the main bg.png. So if we just preview this in a browser by clicking the green play button, and as you can see now, we have this lighter effect on the inside of the content box. So all we need to do now inside of that box, we need to create another div, which will hold all of the content in the white box. So if we just minimize this, and if we go back to our master page, and then if we go to the source, so we need to put some space in here. In fact, I've just noticed here where we put our closing comment, I need to change the actual text. So I'm going to change that to main content border because this one belongs to this one here. As you see, when you click on this div, it highlights what it belongs to. So inside of here, we're going to create another div with an ID and we're going to call this main content. So if we close that off and then if we add our comment as usual, so main content so now we need to style this so we're going to come back to our style sheet and we're going to say main content if I could spell content it's been one of those days so if I just move up the page so you can see this so we're going to use the following so we're going to use background color because this is just going to be white now what you can do in CSS, you don't have to use the this value and do FFFF and whatnot. If you want to, you can just type in the word white. And if we close that off, and then the next thing we need to do, we need to give it a height. So for now, we're just going to say 500 pixels. Obviously, we're going to change the, the heights of the main content border and the main content to auto, so it expands and contracts with the content inside. We're just putting these fixed values in for now so we can see it taking shape. So if we just go to the master page and go to design, you can now see we have a white box in there as well. So if we just preview that in the browser, so if we just refresh the page, so as you can see now, we have this box here. So we've got the white box, um, but we need to give it the edge around the outside. So that's easily done. So we just go back to our style sheet. So on the main content, we're going to say margin and we're going to say 15 pixels. So what this is going to do, this is going to add 15 pixels to the top of the main content box, to the left and the right and the bottom. It's going to be 15 pixels all the way around. So if we just preview this in the browser, if we hit the refresh button, you can now see straight away that jumps in and it's now, it's now got 15 pixels on the top, on the left, on the right, and also the bottom. Now, obviously, we've got more space here because we gave the main content border div uh, 600 pixels in height. So if we go back to the style sheet, as you can see here, so if we change that to, say, 550, and then just go back to the web page, that's now brought it in a little bit more. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the video here for now. I'm going to try and create some more videos and get those uploaded as soon as possible. Just one thing before I go, on my actual channel page, I've added the moderator module at the very top, and I'm asking you guys questions on the videos that I'm going to be making in the future. So it literally says here, what other types of videos do you want me to make? Now, these are obviously going to be web design related, but that could be photo, more Photoshop tutorials, Illustrator, After Effects, all those sorts of things. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments, and I'll catch you in the next video.